Today we're going to be highlighting a card that not only completely breaks the Overlords, but allows us to cheat in a miniature Valgavoth. That's right guys, we've got Overlord Cheats and Mini Valgavoths, and I'm sure you guys are very confused by that statement, so I'll go ahead and explain. Today's card we are highlighting is going to be Render Inert. If you guys don't know this card, this is going to remove counters off of any sort of permanent that we have, and we can draw a card, which is really sweet. Uh, what's really sweet about this card is we've always used this with like invasions, so we can flip over our invasions very quickly, which in turn can give us a miniature Valgavoth, because today's uh, other feature here that we have is the Amonkhet, which can mill ourselves, fill up our graveyard, and basically uh, when it flips over, becomes a 4-4 and a copy of any creature in your graveyard, which of course we're trying to target the Valgavoth. Making a 4-4 Valgavoth on 4, not too bad, but that's not only the main goal here, there's other ways we can kind of break this deck, which is with Render Inert, it can take off these Overlord impending counters to then flip them over and attack in early. So on th in theory, I could get down the Mistmores on 4, and then by turn 5, I can attack in with the Mistmores, which can create another two moths for us. So we can have a full body Mistmores with four insect flyers, which is really, really sweet when you talk about uh, Render Inert comboing off with it. Uh, and of course, we've got the other two Overlords, not only to fill our graveyard for trying to hit the Valgavoth, uh, but we can also draw a discard as well, which also synergizes extremely well here. And then, of course, we've got Kaya. I love Kaya. And it's a great reanimation piece for our Invasion of Tolvada. Invasion of Tolvada can bring back any permanent. And Kaya is a great tool because not a lot of decks have answers for it. People are getting pretty privy to the Valgavoth. You know, a lot of sacrifice mechanics, a lot of sunfalls. So Valgavoth hasn't been exactly unbeatable. So Kaya is a great way to answer that problem. So the deck list is really fun. I will say don't go out and craft this if you're going to waste a bunch of wild cards to do so. If you think this deck is going to be extremely competitive, it's clearly not. There's a lot of reanimation decks that are a lot more streamlined than this one. This is a very fun deck that uh, we had a really uh, good run with and um, I thought it was a really interesting idea I wanted to showcase for you guys in case it gives you some ideas to build upon. So enjoy this one, guys, and we'll see you guys uh, at the end of the video. Peace out. Enjoy the games. All right, first game, we got the opponent going first, but I've got the absolute uh, curve out here that I'm looking for. Hopefully, we can get a Valgavoth here on turn four. That'd be sick. A pseudo Valgavoth, but a Valgavoth nonetheless. All right, let's go here just in case I draw a two mana removal spell. That's a good card too. I can't pass up on that one. Beanstalk, all right. Let's hope the opponent doesn't Leyline Binding away my invasion of Amonkhet once we do get it down. All right. I do need a fifth land drop for the Tolvada to hit. Oh man. Okay, now we need this to hit us something nice. Give me another Valgavoth. Let's go! We got the Valgavoth, dude. Okay, I didn't. I didn't expect us to actually hit it, but there we go. And we got a uh, Overlord in the graveyard as well, which is big. Yes. Okay. So they pass up the opportunity. Well, I guess they still have one man. I was gonna say they pass on the opportunity of invasion. Uh, not getting picked up by the um, Leyline Binding. Okay. The Leyline Binding is instant speed. Gosh, we could end up getting cooked by it here, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it, obviously, because I kind of have to. Wow, it hits turn four. Turn four, Valgavoth. Oh my gosh, and a ley line binding. Unreal. I am one of the most unlucky people in the world. <laughs> that is brutal. All right, well, I mean, I've got backup plans, which is great. Great, great, great. Uh, Valgavoth can come back straight up here with a invasion of Tolvada, so that is an option. The opponent, though, probably running Sunfall. They probably have it. Let's be real. Dang, dude, a Leyline Binding really was in their hand there. So clutch. I don't know why they let me remove the counters and get the uh, the card there. Alright, well, we actually just got a Kaya, which might be better than 
if we would have gotten the Valgavoth. Because Kaya can eat up enchantments for us. Which I really love. Alright. They discard, we draw. This is turning into an interesting game here, guys. Very interesting game. Now, I gotta get one of these flipped over, preferably the invasion, so I can start creating, like, um, you know, these tokens every single turn, giving my tokens lifelink. But getting down a Valgavoth, too, is very enticing, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, the opponent obviously blows up their own Leyline Binding here. That's fine. I could steal. I could steal their beanstalks if I'm willing to give up the Kaya here this turn. Like, I could go Kaya minus here, take a beanstalk, and then go Kaya minus again on the invasion hit. If I do invasion, let me see. I'm trying to think here. So I don't have a Val I don't have a Valgavoth in the graveyard anymore. I could do it though, like like this. And then, man, there are so many options here. There are so many options. <sighs> what is the plan? I think. I think it's Kaya. Better watch your back from here on be something First you, then your ghost. And then Kaya again. Yeah, I think so. I think so, man. Take both their bean stocks here. Play defense. Discard two. Let's discard the Valgavoth. And an Almond Ket. And I still have my Render Inert, which can turn my Almond Ket into a Valgavoth. Temporary lockdown. That's brutal, because now I'm going to lose the Kaya. That is brutal, I can't lie. But they end up losing their Beanstalks. That's really the damage I'm trying to do here. I needed them to stop drawing two cards every single turn. I think that's going to hinder them quite a bit. Wasn't part of the deal. It all comes down to whether or not they have another Leyline Binding to stop me with my Render Inert again. Let's see. Man, there's so many ways I can do this. And I don't know if I'm making a mistake by doing it this way, but I'm gonna go for this again. Alright, they don't have a they don't have a ley line binding. I get back Valgavoth, a mini one. A mini Valgavoth, and then <sighs> can't really attack. Let's go ahead and take out. Let's take out you and then steal you. Right? And then I could pay life for it. That's kind of nice. Maybe I do that. And then don't have any two mana spells here. So let's use our backstreet to do a little surveilling. I don't think I need this. How many cards are left in my deck? Only 17. I got to be careful. So let's keep that on top. Let's not mill myself out anymore. Opponent has 33. We've drawn way more cards than them somehow. Did we get milled by Jace? I think we got milled by Jace. That's what it was. Wow. And they had Sunfall at the ready. That's tough. Sunfall at the ready. Let's try to get this down and see what happens. They've got a ley line, it looks like. Or I guess it could just be the token here. Didn't think about that. All right. And then we play this out to draw another card. No, it's definitely an answer. It's a get lost. Okay. Get lost. That's a card. That is quite the card, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we get back Kaya probably. Gosh, I don't even know if that's the right call. Maybe it is Valgavoth again. I mean, a Sunfall, though, is such an easy answer. You've earned my blessing. All right, I think we allow that to hit us because I want to flip... I want to flip one of these Invasion of Tolvadas here. Yeah, I'm going to let that hit us, believe it or not. I want to flip on the Invasion. 
That's going to give all my stuff lifelink going forward. And it's going to continuously create more bodies for me. And then what? And then what? Kolvada, get back. Valgavoth? I don't like the priority hold here from the opponent. It's another get lost. Wow. That's brutal. That's brutal. All right, let's get this down. Here's the deal. I could go Kaya, take their temporary lockdown, take all their tokens. Um... That is a play I can make. <sighs> I think it's going to have to be that. Which seems crazy. That does seem crazy. Um, don't really want to play the draw, uh, the flood pits here because again, I'm at 14 cards. Got to make sure I'm playing this safely. Now, my token does fly, so I should be able to flip the Tolvada this next turn pretty easily as long as the opponent can't, you know, Erase it off the field. If they erase it off the field, though, I get back a 2-1. What a game. I mean, this is like a crazy way to start things off here. I uh, did not expect to be running into an opponent running a band deck that's working off the Beanstalk strategy. I should have because it's a very popular strategy right now. I just haven't seen it in a while. Well, this is actually extremely sad. The opponent roped me completely all the way through all three timeouts. I don't know what they were doing. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why we always got to end games like that, like especially a really fun game like that where we were having a ton of fun and a lot of nuance. It really sucks to see the opponent, you know, get salty like that to rope us all the way down. So what a bummer. All right. Well, that really feels bad. I, I don't know why the opponent couldn't just finish that one out. This hand looks even worse than bad. Oh, I, 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 I guess I guess we keep it. I don't know. Yikes, man. What are these freaking draws? All right, I guess we keep that because we can get the Valgavoth back guaranteed by five, but maybe we can flip this even sooner. I do need to hit land drop, land drop, land drop, though. <laughs> so please, please provide me with a land here. I hope it's a blue source so I can get the Overlord down. That'd be really helpful for drawing into some more help here. All right, a Beanstalk. Opponent running Beanstalk. Wowzers, wowzers. All right, I guess a, a black source is fine too because I can get this down. Draw into another card. Oh, okay. Don't have a kill spell, please. Please don't have a kill spell. Just do like another beanstalk or something, man. Or a bitter reunion or harvest. I don't care. Any of those are fine. Just don't kill my doll. And please don't put out a blocker. Those two things. Two two things. That's all. Just two things. They're really thinking hard about this, man. No! It's a torch the to tower, man. Come on. Land. Yes, dude. Yes. Overlord, get down here, man. Start cooking them. Make them think twice, man. I, I really hope they don't have a burn down the house or like a, or not a burn down the house. That's that's not in rotation standard no more. Uh, Brotherhood's end. That would be bad. That's fine. It's not the greatest thing in the world for me, but that's fine. Something tells me this opponent is running white, which means they are running a Sunfall, because why wouldn't they? Everybody's running Sunfall. Search your library for basic land or... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's a good card. It's a really good card. Um... I could use that right now to flip over the Overlord and get in for a lot of damage. Is that what I want to do? It's a bit greedy, I'm not going to lie, but I think it's the play. Time to flip the Overlord. 
Nice, we get rewarded with another render inert. All right, and now <laughs> as excited as I should be here with the board state looking the way it looks, like we got a Valgaboth now, like that's pretty ridiculous. I'm not excited because the opponent does have a Sunfall, so. <sighs> Sunfall has been the pain in my neck for so long. Ain't no way. Okay, they are in trouble. <laughs> I thought for sure that was a wrap for us. Oh man, Valgavoth sticks around. You'd love to see it. The greed pays off. I could not believe that. I really can't. I thought for sure we were cooked. Alright, I need to get a Kaya in the graveyard to bring back, man. That's what I really need. Alright, I guess we just attack in here. Opponents can only stop so much of this. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Is it time now though? Has my luck run out? It has not, wow. My luck, my luck pulled through on that one. <laughs> Cannot believe it, man. Good freaking game. All right, we find ourselves with an interesting looking hand here. I can drop the tear, I can drop the Kaya and then reanimate later. Oh, but I've only got two lands yet again. Um, I don't think I love that. I don't love that for me. This I do like a little bit more. This gives me a lot more options. Very glad I threw that away. Uh, this is something I can reanimate or turn into with the Amonkhet, so let's do it. Keep looking over because I thought I forgot to hit record there. All right. Selesnia I do like because I got the Anoint Affliction. Could be rabbits, could be tokens, not sure yet. I'm going to save the Affliction, obviously. There's better options for that. All right, so we got a Valgavoth in hand. Let's see if we can't get that to the graveyard somehow. And a smite and a get lost. What? Okay, I don't know what the opponent is playing here. But it looks like another sort of mid-range control type of a deck that hopefully doesn't have too many sweepers. Because that's annoying. That's a great card. That is a great card. Let's go. All right, just missing out on the render inert. Could flip this over, turn it into a Valgavoth, of course. Uh, could just reanimate a Valgavoth with Tavada next turn too. That's an option. I <sighs> really wish I had a Kaya though. Kaya would be really good here. Um, stealing the Aunt Woods, obviously, but another cake. Another cake is actually pretty good here, just because I can't really attack into a 1-1 one, one with my 2-1. Sure thing. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's try this. Hopefully we get another black source here. Opponent does have to discard a card. That's kind of big for us. Uh, missed out on the inert on that one. Come on, something good here. I also could have used that Swamp. Both of those cards were helpful. Oh man, Shuffler is kicking my butt right now. All right. Today, the Shuffler has just not been very friendly. I'll tell you that much. All right, I would imagine the opponent has to have a Sweeper, right? Like. Out of the last two cards, they have to because they've got Sunfall here. They've got plenty of removal spells. I just can't see them not hanging on to a sweeper. That would not be very wise of them. But I mean, maybe I could just keep on playing these invasions of Amonkhet and then force the opponent into discarding all the cards from their hand, eventually taking out the sweeper. A lot of tokens here. Land and a carrot cake. All right, so yeah, if I play one more Amonkhet, I mean, technically, 
that'll get rid of the last card in hand. And if it's a sweeper, we know we're safe and good to go. No blocks. All right, there's a land that we needed, but I don't obviously have an on-tap source coming down. So I've got to wait until next turn, which means another invasion of Amonkhet. It was a get lost. All right. Uh, let's see. So many Valgavoths. Um, I guess, I don't know. I guess we just play defense, sure. Uh, no attacks. I mean, it makes sense to hold the get lost there, but they got plenty of tokens to sacrifice in order to take out the Valgavoth, but. All right, they send everybody. Six damage is so much, but I do think I'm gonna let it go through. A land, perfect, we needed that. Gotta be, right? Gotta be the move. Alright, please, Valgavoth. Oh, mighty Valgavoth. Please save us from this despair. Come on. Come on now. Let's go. They're gonna draw a card. Start eating up their tokens, which is good for us, I guess, in some ways. Because it's gonna start taking away some of the permanents that they could, te you know, technically sacrifice in order to deal with the Valgavoth. That's good. A nice another card draw means they don't have the sweeper in hand. And I'm hoping all they have here is Sunfall and not like four different types of sweepers. Oh, did I hit three of them? One, two, only two, okay. Only two left though. Only two left. What's the plan, man? Am I going to flip the Tolvada? That would be so sick. If I flip Tolvada here in this matchup, I guess the opponent would have, though, the um, get lost at some point. There's two. Oh, no, there's three already taken out. Oh, they hit the Sunfall. I had a feeling. I'm like, that was a really weird attack by the opponent there. All right. That's a bummer. Now we're kind of at the mercy, though, of trying to find a render inert or a reanimation spell. Which does suck. That does suck. Another land would be good. Getting down Kaya, just start bleeding him. Oh, I could draw. I could draw too. Either way, pretty good options. Um, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and discard a card. And the reason why I'm going after Toby and not the 4-4 four four here is because the 4-4 four four cannot attack or block without a partner. Alright, let's go with a uh, Swamp. I think I'm going to just zero for now. Wait, they could create a fish, couldn't they? And then that fish would be allowing them to attack him with the 4-4. Four four. Um, I still think I draw, though. That's so risky, though, man. Yeah, I still think I draw. I guess I made Let mistakes there by not um, taking out the 4-4 four four on second thought. Just because... Um, they can create the fish, and I, I didn't think about that. Maybe they sacrifice it, though, to draw. No. Nope, they see it. Kaya goes down to one. Still alive, though. Still alive. Still able <laughs> to plus. Overlord of the Hauntwoods. Right? All right, all right. I uh, definitely think there's no way we're not plussing that. I'm going to play this, though, as a body. We're going to anoint Affliction to 4-4. Four, four. Uh, discard you, I suppose. All 
right, and we'll get a blue or white. Uh, blue's fine. All right, we plus this. And let's see what the opponent does. Let's see what they do. I like my I like my position right now. It's not terrible. 24 cards left. I always got to be careful not to deck myself with this one. I imagine they're going to send everybody at Kaya. I'm going to block the Overlord with my Overlord. I'm going to take out the 4-4. Four four. And then Kaya survives. All right, we make it to the next next little round here with Kaya. Keep on bleeding them out. I do love that we have the Overlord of the Mistmores here. I don't love that we still have one sweeper lurking about. Man. Okay, that's a problem. That is a problem. We hate that for us. Oh, we hate that for us so bad. All right, going level two on the fish here, drawing two cards. Sheesh, okay. It be like that. It do be like that. Another grind them out kind of a game here. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. All I have to do is freaking flip over this gosh darn Tolvada and we're and we'd be fine. Just gotta flip it. Good chance the opponent just pumps their talents here to make their 1-1s bigger and badder and meaner than ever. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous because this game is going to be... It's anybody's game. Like, honestly, I don't see... I don't see anybody getting an advantage over the other at the moment. Are they going to make one of their tokens flying with a counter? That's a possibility for sure. They've got to think about this. I, I totally understand why. I mean, they've got a lot of options here. They go with the draw two. Could they deck themselves out? 24 to 23, not really. All right, they go level three. All right, that's what I was worried about the most. Which forces me into a situation here where I'm going to have to block, uh, chump block. Oh boy. It's pretty good. No! Oh my god, and it, officially this game is over. Oh man, that's official, like a referee whistle. We are cooked. Dang, dude, they find a two mana get lost off the top ropes, dude. That was our last one, too, wasn't it? It sure was. Why I remind myself? I don't know. That makes me. Ugh. Come on. We can still potentially flip. Come on, give me something good. That works. That works. Alright, so we are going to go here. gotta be kidding me oh you've got to be kidding me man all right all right that's brutal very very brutal one two three and then one two three four oh man i don't have enough i don't have enough <laughs> oh, i don't have enough did i play a land yet this this turn yes i did okay so one two three and then one two three four that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. One, two, and then that's 20. Not a whole lot I can do here, guys. I got got by the um, get lost, man. And then the smite on top of that was just cherry on top for the opponent. Oh, man. Okay, so I can get back Kaya, steal one of their caretaker's talents, which is going to de-pump their board. And then I can use their caretaker's talent, obviously, to draw cards. Um, gosh, man, I needed Valgavoth something here. We fight together. <sighs> Things are getting annoying, to say the least.
Caretaker's Talent's got to be one of the most busted cards in Standard, man. Got to respect it, you know? Got to respect it. I think that does it, because even if I do take out... Uh, well, maybe not. 14 damage? Yeah, I think I'll be all right. There's one down. Seventeen. All right, we take fourteen plus the three. So we are still alive. Barely, <laughs> barely. I mean, should we just try to get it done with Valgavoth? I mean, they do have one sweeper left, though. One sweeper left. Uh, it feels like I should try to get it done with Valgavoth, man. I don't know. If I bring back Valgavoth, if I bring back Valgavoth, it's a 9-9 and a 2-2 blocking, right? They send everybody. That's a lot more damage, I think. And then they pump. Yeah, I think it has to be Kaya. I really am not sure, but it feels like it has to be. Alright, they're going to draw another card here really quick before this goes. And then we're going to use the additional mana that we have on field here to create more tokens. Maybe. This doesn't feel good. This feels like they've got another instant speed removal ready to go for this. Yep, they do. All right, that's game. That was all I had, man. That was the last little trick that I had up my sleeve, but the opponent has an answer and uh, that shuts us down. That would have initially drawn us into a bunch more cards too and maybe got us back into the game, but that's tough. GG's. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Uh, they had so much value built in there off those caretaker's talents late in the game. I, I just couldn't keep up. I, I got too late of a start, to be honest. Um, yeah, Valgavath, uh, I don't know. GG's. All right, I made one quick mana adjustment before this last game here. I wanted to add in one land. I think it's necessary. We keep running into issues where our lands are becoming a bit of an issue for us. Let's go fish out a blue source, believe it or not, because I need to make sure I have double for the Overlord, the blue one, that is. Uh, I did cut one Mistmores. We... Cut one Overlord of the... I'm sorry, not Mistmores. I'm sorry, one Bale Merc. All the Overlord names I'm still working on. Uh, the Bale Merc is what we dropped off. All right, so the opponent going to take one of my Tovadas for sure. Which does suck. I'm not going to lie. That that hurts. Oh. Not taking a Tovada. I guess the way they see it is if I can't get one of these into the graveyard, then this is useless. Unfortunately for them, look what we just top decked. And look, is that's exactly why we got the blue source. <laughs> Um, I mean, red, black. There could be, like, sacrifice type of effects that I can't get around with the uh, Valgavoth. So let's try to reanimate the Kaya instead. That does scare me a bit, I'm not going to lie. Come on, give me a land, give me a land, give me a land, give me a land. Oh my gosh. I add in one land, and for what? For what exactly? It wasn't so I could draw it. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, uh, that's unreal. That feels unreal. I should be getting back Kaya right now, but here we are yet again into a situation where we need mana. It is what it is, man. I mean, it's land, but I need an untapped land to get down my fifth, uh, my five mana spell here. There we go. And I got a render inert, which is solid. Okay. It all comes down to this. We're down to three. Or two. We're down to two. I forgot it rounds up. Okay, no nightmare. That's good news. That is good news. Alright, surely the opponent doesn't have a shielder's edict. A shielder's edict is like our kryptonite. All right, the good news is we're gonna steal this, right? And the overlord is gonna come up as a creature here. Uh, so we've got double attempts to block here. And then on top of that, 
Okay, they cut down their own slasher. That's fine. On top of that, I can start gaining life with Kaya's plus. But... Are they gonna play a hopeless nightmare and we just lose? You know what I mean? Like... All right, it's another kill spell for the Overlord. I mean, two really good answers back to back there. We thought we had him, didn't we? Tiny Bones joins up. All right, that's fine. We drop this. That is fine, that is fine. Everything's okay here, guys. Let's start with that. Start with that. Beautiful. Then we do this. All right, I love this for us. All right, now we start getting some bodies that are lifelink bodies to start protecting Kaya and also getting me back into this game. Man, if we just had like a uh, an early game removal spell for that, like Anoint Affliction would have been perfect. All right, another two mana kill spell, I would assume. The opponent hasn't done much of anything this game, uh, which tells me that they've got a, a, a handful of removal spells. A grip, if you will. They just drew that. All right, last two cards, like we said, are going to be removal spells, you would imagine. They use one on their own slasher again. Big money for us, it resets it. A little bit of a reset there. Oh, we don't have double white. I'm just realizing this. Yikes. All right, let's get this down. See if we can turn it into a Valgavoth here. Not quite, not quite. All right, we draw into a doll though. Okay. All of these cards are good. I guess I'm gonna drop Kaya here because I don't, I, I don't anticipate, nor do I want Kaya to die here. So I think we're fine. Okay, I think we got him. It just took a little while to get there. We had a little bit of mana troubles yet again, uh, but we got there, man. Holy smokes. I am just so happy that today we had an opportunity to play Tolvada because the Invasion of Tolvada is one of my favorite reanimation spells, but I just, I love it because of its backside, right? To flip it over and create these threats every single turn. That is what I dream for every day, and I love when it happens, so that was awesome. GG. That's going to do it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another one as well as a live stream. And tomorrow's live stream is going to be here on YouTube. If you guys don't know, we're live every Wednesday. Every first Wednesday of the month, by the way, we're playing against you guys. So if you guys want to show up, it's first come, first serve. You can get on the list to play against me in a standard game. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll probably go a little bit more aggro. I think I'm going to do like Azorius... Um, Azorius enchantments tomorrow. We haven't done that in a minute and uh, it's been kind of grinding me through the ladder very fast So I'm probably gonna showcase that again tomorrow uh, But thank you for watching and I hope you uh, found some value in today's deck list super fun uh, You know, hopefully render inert can give you guys some cool ideas again with the overlords. It's been really really fun uh, So super cool list and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and uh, yeah We'll catch you guys on the next one huge. Thank you as always to the Mardu mob if you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on my channel. So thank you so much for those who support me monetarily every month. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for everything, guys. Peace out. Man, all of the time Coming with the best exit to the meta This ain't cheap